when Mac throws this pick, it just sucks the life out of the team. Do you know why? Why is that? Because you're right there with them. You start the game at 7-zip. Okay, they counter. But then you're moving the ball. You got some stuff going. You got the running game going. You're first and 10 inside the 30. First and 10. You already have points on the board. Hey, don't screw this up. Don't take the sack. Don't take the penalty. He just hangs one. Everybody and their mother are all over Ramsey on this. Yeah, okay, great. He's back. He came back from a meniscus tear. We probably have eight guys in our secondary that can make that play. So, but don't talk to me about the bait switch and that. He made a good read. He made a great read. He made a, it's yeah, what he came, did. I'm saying we have eight guys that come so up there's only- on a ball that hangs that long, throw them that late down that sideline. That's all. There are only two deep routes on that play, right? Who's on the other side there? Park, Parker's going to clear. Oh, so Parker, but who else was? was uh, it was uh, Douglas on the fake screen. All right, so Douglas is on the other side because so really, you can't see it on TV. I, so, I'm like assuming on this play right. there's only two. All right, so. So Miami ran it. They threw, But what Miami does here, they, they throw slants behind it. Oh, so, there's no one on the other side of the field. So I there really is no other. Yeah, I, yeah. I just got a good view of it there. There's no other. Nobody else runs a deep route on that play, so, just Parker. So it's got to be. It's got to be off the play fake, quick shoulder down the line of scrimmage to Douglas, right. and then you got to z- zing it right by the ear hole of the front defender so Bourne can catch that and run up the sideline. Ramsey knows he has all kinds of help behind him on this play, and yeah. he can let Parker go. Yeah, the double Parker. Right. He's got, he doesn't need to be back there. Yeah. So he reads it right, and he goes right for Bourne. But here's the thing. I, so Mac obviously thought there was a window there. Right, oh, he got no. He got fooled. He got fooled because the window evaporates quickly. Because I don't know if Mac knows this. I know yeah. he was really good at Alabama, but this is the NFL. Yeah. So in the NFL, that window doesn't last very long. And so that ball's got to be driven at like the twenty. That ball, if you are throwing, Excellent. and I, I think you and I agree on this. This is less about the great read by Ramsey. Yeah, it is more about the fact that if Mac Jones were a better quarterback, he makes a better stronger throw to the boundary so that the ball is there much sooner and in a better spot for the receiver to actually be able to make a play. I think Ramsey was is, stunned. Is that a fair home. assessment? Yeah. yeah. I okay. Think, I think Ramsey, you know, I think it startled him. Something. I think he's, he's stunned and hung and he threw it so short. I think Ramsey was trying to get him to throw deep and then I could go slide over and try and make a play on it in the end zone. And I think, holy crap, I got to come and I got to break on the ball because he just hung it up. You see what I'm saying? Like you're on, you're on the other hash first and 10. Back foot, pat, pat, late, and ball hangs. And it just, you can just see the side. It just sucks the life out of the sideline. Sucks the life out of any energy you had in that building going. Like the moans and the grunt, because there's like a lot of Pats fans too. It's such a bad throw, but you know what it is? It's that he's just not better. And he's never going to be better. There's too many of those is the problem. Like, he's never going to be He's never going to be able to make a better throw to that spot on the that's, field. That's Ever. Dallas. That's Vegas. That's like you got points. You're driving. It's not like you're backed up on your own 40. You get blitzed. The ball gets tipped and it gets picked. That, that mean, that happens. These are just late misreads. Misread it. Threw it late. Slow. Probably should have Oh, thrown. my God. Is all of it so damn it's, slow? It's just... Yeah. Brutal play. Yeah. And I, I, but that this is not some aberration for Mac Jones. This is who he is. This is what we see. Run that angle again. Run that angle again, please, Fowler, as we watch it here. I want to Fowler run this one angle again. Because you kind of see the stack how Parker's running with it. Watch. See, like, he's <laughs> three guys are going to cover Parker. Yeah. Like, it's whatever. Bad, bad play all the way around. Yeah. Just bad play. All the way around. Yeah, I don't know like we, why people are saying, like, okay, I like the concept of it. The concept of the play itself? Yeah, or because... the fact that they took a shot? Well, it's the, con- the concept of the play, because that play doesn't fit what we do. You know what I mean? We can't we can't zing it up that sideline. Like Mahomes, Herbert, and those guys make that throw up the right. sideline why and zing it in Why are you asking there? Mac Jones to make this right. throw in the first place? See, okay, he, so you could, he's not good at making this throw. You could take now, Tua did, they did this with Tua yesterday. They ran Barrios out for the fake screen down line of scrimmage. And what they do? They banged Waddle and Hill on slants as the outside guy, wide open in the zone. Like, you should have ran, like, born on a slant there. Stick, 
Or he catches a slant there. Look, look at the slant area right now. Freeze it. Like, he would catch it to 15 and maybe walk in on a slant the way he's running. We're not good enough to drive the ball to, to, to boundaries. That's why we don't throw it deep. That's why we don't test it. That's why teams sit on us. Because Mac Jones is, say it with me, limited. Limited. He is not Mr. Unlimited. He is Mr. Limited. And is it? That's it's, Mac Jones. It's got to be perfect. It's got to be blocked. It's got to be you know, feet under you. Everything's got to be in, in, in swing. It's like a golf swing. It's limited. a golf analogy. Limited. New Check. England, we don't have a quarterback. Let's all start to realize this now. Yeah, I think you're Let's still- all like, get on board with this and realize the team doesn't have a quarterback. You don't have one. It, it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's starting, and I've tried to fight it. It's starting uh, to. I know. I'm trying to be fair because I know the position's tough because I see the huddle. I see the huddle. When you look in the huddle and you see number one, 84, you know, 81, 83, 88, I'm like, okay, we're, we're limited. We're limited in what we got. We are. He's limited. limited. He is limited in what he has around him, and I'm trying Mr. to be fair to him. Limited. But <laughs> if you're not going to spend a receiver and you don't value those guys, skill guys on offense, I'm talking big time tight ends in that too. Yeah, like, okay. We got Hunter Henry, Henry. He's a good tight end. We don't use lies him enough. Well, it's almost like Farrell Brown's more of a weapon. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, like if this is what it's gonna be, he like Josh Allen to just get in here and try and zing it in holes and let him run zone and go and settle down. Because this, well, this, this is sort is, of the ceiling is what we're Well, doing. none of this is acceptable. The offensive line's not acceptable. I, I the understand receivers that. are not acceptable. I don't, like, I don't know where to begin. The like, quarterback you, is not acceptable. None of this is good enough. The entire this? thing is not good enough. Mr. This? Limited. Thank you. You want to do this again next year and the no. year after? No, that's why you, I'm... You want to still no. find out? It's over. Don't you have to kind of find out on that play something it else? It is over. Yeah. The quarterback is not the guy. The coach is not the coach or GM. You're Bad it team. is time to do it over. Your last place in the AFC. You are the worst team in the AFC. Denver spanked KC last night, which got them out of the basement. You have now acquired the basement in the bottom of the AFC. It is what it is. It's that. That's what you are. And based on the success here in past years, that's a hard thing to accept. It really is. I have a tough time with it. But that's reality. What we watched yesterday is reality because we said going in, you know, you pop Buffalo. What are they? Are they more of the team that played Dallas, played so, the Saints? To put this in perspective, yeah. it has been three decades since this team has felt this irrelevant. 30 years since they've been in this spot. Wait till Sunday. You're gonna Long-time do, you're fans gonna, will still watch the games and feel like it's a task, like it's a chore it's, at times it, to get to the end. It's going to be it's gonna be on them to get themselves up for Sunday because there's going to be a lot of people sitting on their hands watching and waiting. Got, got a dead-ass feeling right now around this team. Well, yeah. They, and, uh, they, they, they were, give off that vibe. No, no, but like – So it starts post with game, them. Post-game, they, they, they didn't have answers and they were defeated. Bad. Bad vibe post game, and last week is starting to look like, you know, hey, good win. Give him credit for the good win, but that's that's not looking like it was you got a spark him, yeah. for anything. No, spark. It didn't spark anything. It didn't nope. create any big mo- wave of momentum. No, nope. none of that. They tried. It made you try to get Pop Douglas going. Is what it did. And then you know it was nice to have Juju active for the game, but I guess he was benched until everybody else's heads fell off, which is another odd, freaking crazy thing, right? Must win situation. Your number one signing in the offseason. Cleared. I asked him last question of the of the pregame. How's Juju? Had a great week. Ready to go. And I knew something was up, and I said it to Bob during the broadcast. I said it live on the broadcast. I said, something's up. Something's up. Because, like, when you have your helmet off and you're just kind of hanging out, you're not involved. I remember when Welker got benched, and we knew it. Like, he's going to sit the first quarter. He was chin-strapped up, standing on the edge, right up on the sideline, waiting, ready to go. One sitting on a bench, one sulking. She was just walking around hanging out. Never warmed up. Yeah, you know, I watched the bench. You can tell when guys are getting ready to go in, when guys aren't. What's the vibe? Like they told they shut him down. You're gonna dress out, but you're not playing. Why? Another another thing to answer this week, right? Like you need that too. 
Well, they're going to need him now. The way things are going. Injuries to receivers. Right? Got no choice. No choice going forward. You have Jalen Rager. You have Taquan Thornton. You can elevate Booty. Yeah. Okay. You rather play those guys? Uh, I don't think it matters. Booty pop? Quite frankly. Really? I don't really think it matters who you play. I'm kind of with you. Does it matter? Nah. All right. Play the kids. Let's find out if they hey, can play. That gives you some sort of chance to see them. Find out what you got there. Got to find out what seven. We know what seven can do now. I mean, it isn't much. 